In this video, I'm going to talk about how to tweak or change your wealth building strategy. In many of my videos, I talk about kind of like how to implement a specific strategy for passive income and financial freedom. In this video, it's going to be a little bit different, so make sure you stick around and watch the whole video. So as I was saying earlier, I mean, a lot of my uh, videos talk about implementing a strategy that relates to financial freedom, passive income, etc. But in this case, we're going to talk about uh, something a little bit different, which is about the goal of wealth building goal and then have strategies associated associated with that. And in my book, I talk about kind of like the need uh, to have a lot of these things aligned properly. So if your goal is to build wealth, obviously you want to implement strategies and that, that basically are going to help you build wealth. And this is kind of like the first, first level of that pyramid is that we, we're basically, I'm seeing a lot of investors that they say they want to have, they want to build wealth, but then what they are investing in is really not, uh, not really building wealth. So if your goal is to build wealth, obviously you want to implement strategies that are going to help you uh, build wealth. So it's very important that these things are aligned. So if I want to use, for example, real estate uh, to build wealth, I want to basically buy and hold properties for equity. I want to buy value add property and do forced appreciation, for example, um, then and then refinance them and then build equity this way. Um, so this could be one wealth building strategy that I want to use. And so I'm going to focus on, on the, that one, let's say uh, a Burr strategy where you buy, renovate, rent and refinance the properties to build wealth. So you're actually building value and then uh, refinancing it to, um, to build build wealth. So these three things are kind of at the top of, of the pyramid and what you need to support that strategy are two things. On one hand, uh, I'm always visualized like a triangle where at the top I have the strategy that I'm trying to implement and then I have the other points of the triangle are the resources basically time, money, and skills and capabilities. And on the other hand, kind of like the market component and really defining your investment criteria. So these two, these two things need to support the strategy you want to implement. And then how you tweak and change and modify your strategies is really you're looking at these things continuously and to optimize it. So you would look at, for example, you would look at your strategy, your Burr strategy, and you would realize that you know, your cost of, of renovations and stuff like that are a little too high, blah, blah, blah. Then you can go into your, your resources and say, okay, well, maybe I need to find another contractor that would do that. I need to talk to the contractor, one of my resources that's part of the skills and, and say, okay, well, you know, we need to work a little bit on kind of like the kind of renovations that we do to reduce the cost for that. You could also, uh, on the refinance, you could say, well, you know, this is, uh, I need to find better rates. I need to find uh, longer term loans. I need to find different things. And then again, that's part of that resources, really tweaking that resources and finding out how to optimize your cost and how to optimize that equity building. The other aspect of it is uh, identifying the markets that you are uh, looking at right now. So maybe you're buying in a market that is too expensive up front and it doesn't really appreciate that much. Maybe it's a neighborhood that is really, even if you put a lot of money, you buy something at $100,000, you put $50,000 in and it's really not, a, not gaining any value to that. Uh, above the, the cost that you put in, then maybe you want to look at, at another neighborhood. Maybe you want to uh, look at um, also kind of like having uh, more of a seasoning period in order to, to get the maximum value for your, uh, for your property. Maybe they don't, um, they don't appraise in that particular neighborhood because the comparable sales are not there. Uh, so working on that, maybe another neighborhood have 
has better comparable sales. So that's kind of like how you would tweak and change your strategy and treat it to optimize how, how your margin is working. And this is not a one-time thing. This is something that you do uh, continuously and every day. Uh, so every, every day I work on the, uh, at this triangle and I work on the process and to work on uh, the, the how to make sure that the team is focused on the right thing to basically manage and maximize and optimize the return on our investment. So I hope you find this video helpful about kind of like how to tweak and change a wealth building strategy, but you can, any strategy really uh, would, uh, would work for that. Uh, make sure you click the thumbs up uh, if you like the video so that the, my, uh, the YouTube algorithm can actually distribute it to a broader audience. If you like anything that deals with real estate investment, entrepreneurship, money, financial freedom, passive income, uh, feel free to watch the other videos on my channel. Make sure you subscribe, click that notification but bell so that you are notified whenever a new video is posted on my channel. Thank you.